Hey guys, Chicago injury lawyer Scott DeSalvo here. And in today's video, the topic is, what can I do if my doctor wrote the wrong thing in the medical records? So this came up in a case I had, and um, basically it's a lady who was injured and in the middle of her medical records, like serious injuries, <coughs> pardon me, serious injuries. And um, in the middle of her medical records, you know, medical records are that thick, right in the middle, there's a note in there from a doctor saying that she injured her back when she fell off a ladder. Well, our case didn't involve falling off a ladder. Our lady was not climbing any ladders and definitely, you know, her back problems began and ended with our accident. There never was a ladder incident, right? And have I, as I explained in some of my other videos, doctors, so this is, this is how insurance companies and defense attorneys evaluate these cases, right? They look at what's in those medical records and then they take the doctor's deposition, right? And most doctors will not talk to your lawyer before the deposition, don't want to have anything to do with it. And their testimony, what they say at their deposition is just going to be verbatim, whatever's in the medical records. So if, if somebody put the wrong page, somebody else's chart in your medical records, the doctor's just going to say what is, whatever is in that chart. Or if some resident misunderstood what you said or got you confused with the other guy that they just saw and put fall from a ladder, that is what the doctor is going to raise his or her right hand and say, you told the doctors that you fell off a ladder on that date, right? It's a real problem. It's a real problem. And the doctor is not going to go against the medical chart. And then you have a problem because now you have a bad reference that you hurt your back some other way or it got worse from a fall in a la off a ladder. Um, and or there, now you not only is it in the medical records, but now you have your doctor who's supposed to help you, who's supposed to make you better, going under oath and saying you told him you fell off a ladder when it never happened. So that's horrible. So what can you do about it? Here's what you can do about it. You have a right to write to the doctor or hospital and ask them to correct the medical record. Okay. Now, in this era of electronic medical records, your medical chart is a history of your medical care and you have a right to contact them and they have a duty and obligation under the law to make a correction or make a note of what happened or redact or change the record. Now, in this years ago, you could get them to change the record, right? And there would be documentation that you requested it, but the actual record would get redacted and corrected. But now in the era of electronic records, most electronic medical record systems cannot be modified. In other words, you can't go back and fix an error like that. All they can do is make a subsequent record, make another record in response to your request, clearing it up. And in some medical systems, the correction is right after the error. And in some, it's way at the end of the medical records, which doesn't help us as much, but at least it shows a judge and jury and it shows the insurance company that we're on to their dirty trick. So if an insurance company or a defense attorney finds something like that in a medical record, their, their, uh, their, mouth, their, their mouth is watering because they know they can make you look like a liar on the witness stand. And they know in front of a judge and jury, if you look like you're not honest, they can kill your case, kill your case just like that. But if you correct the medical record, now at least you caught it and you're letting them know this is wrong. And then when they take your doctor's deposition, I can draw their attention to it. Well, wait a minute, doctor. That's what it says in that record. But if you look at page, uh, if you can refer to page 853, can you take a look at that and tell me whether it's still your opinion that that's what the patient said to the doctor on that date? Most doctors will take the hint and say, uh, no, I see that the medical record was correct, corrected at the request of the patient, and this is uh, an incorrect entry, so I, I don't really lend any credence to the notion that they fell off a ladder, okay? Is it a perfect solution? No, but it is a solution. Now, sometimes I've had people ask me, well, you're my lawyer. Can't you just ask him to change it? <sighs> that would look terrible. That would look terrible. If I make the request then the medical record is going to say, at the request of the injured person's lawyer, 
They don't like this. That's going to look suspicious as hell. It's got to come from you, and it usually just amounts to you contacting them. A lot of doctors and hospitals office have a form that you can fill out or you can do it in a letter. Now, that I can help you with. I can give you a sample letter to send to the doctor's office to have them correct, you know, correct the chart. But it has to come from you. It can't come from me. If it comes from me, it actually can sometimes look worse than the bad medical record itself because then it looks like your lawyer is trying to manipulate the medical records rather than the patient being outraged that they got something important wrong, right? If your lawyer sends a letter asking them to change the medical records, they don't have to listen to me, number one, but even if they change the records, it makes your case even worse. So that's what I would recommend you do, and I would recommend you do it as soon as it comes up. Now, if you have a good lawyer who does a detailed medical summary and really looks at the medical records like we do in my office, a lot of times your lawyer can catch something like that before you're even, you have a lawsuit filed, and you can address it way before we even file a lawsuit on the case, and that's what I would recommend you do. It can take them a little while to... Um, fix medical records like that. And the sooner you catch it, the faster it gets done. And then you got a clean set of medical records to send to settle the case. And then ultimately a clean set of medical records. If you have to go before, you know, go in front of a judge and or jury for an arbitration hearing, a mediation, a pretrial conference, or even a trial. So that is my advice. That is what I recommend you do. I hope this information helps you. I hope you and your family are well, but if God forbid, you or somebody you love has been involved in an accident and they have questions, or if they're looking for a lawyer to represent them, I am absolutely available to you. You can call me anytime, night or day, at 312-500-4500. That's 312-500-4500. Free consultation, no obligation. If you have questions and you want more information, you can check out my website, The Salvo Law. And in particular, I've got two really co cool tools on there. One is the case cash calculator tells you what your case might be worth link in the description and the other one is the good case calculator tells you whether you might have a good case or a case with some challenges again no lawyer to talk to and these tools are completely free to use they're multi a few multiple choice questions it takes you 10 or 15 seconds to answer the questions and then you get answers to what your settlement value might be worth or whether you have a good case or kind of a tough one no lawyer to talk to, completely free. So check it out, links in the description. If you enjoy my videos and the tools and information I give to injured people for free, please consider subscribing to the channel and give me a like on the video. If you have a question you want answered or if you'd like me to shoot a video and answer your question, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll turn it into a video and post it and it'll help other injured people because they'll get, if you have a question about an injury case, they probably do too, okay? Um, finally, very competitive market in Chicago, tough being a PI lawyer here, very expensive to do, lots of competition. So could you do me a favor? Boy, you sure could, and it'll only take you five minutes, and I'd really appreciate it. Not five minutes, five seconds, maybe 10 seconds. So I'll leave a link in the description, and if you would be so kind as to leave me a five-star review on Google, it would really help me out. All you do is cut and paste the link into a web browser on your phone, tablet, or computer, Click, you know, page loads, click five stars, say a kind word, hit submit. Just a few seconds for you, but boy, it would really help me out because studies show that when people are considering a lawyer, they really look at those uh, Google reviews. So I need every five star Google review I can get. And if you would be willing to contribute, it would really, I'd really, really appreciate it. It'd be a nice thing to do. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. Hope that info helps you. And I hope my tools are helpful to you as well. And obviously, if I can be of service, please do not hesitate to call me, 312-500-4500. And I'm almost home, and I've got probably four or five hours of work to do because i got a big file. I got a, the medical is all messed up on it. It's going to be a couple thousand pages of medical records to read tonight. The life of a lawyer is so exciting and glamorous. So... Anyway, hope your night is more fun than mine's going to be, but uh, it's got to get done. It's got to get done. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.